So here we have 20 pound fluoro and we have 10 pound fluoro. And so we're gonna see how the different line diameters can affect the fall rate of jigs. And so we have two half ounce jigs here with the same trailer on it. And we're gonna drop these down simultaneously and just see how fast they can fall. The independent variable of this is gonna be the line diameter. And so, you know, we have 20 on this one, 10 on this one. And then on the back of them, I have 13 Invader. That's the new little creature bait from 13. And so they're the exact same bait, they're both half ounce. We're gonna run this three different times at three different depths. So we're gonna start it in five feet and then we're gonna do one in 10 feet and then one in 20 feet. Let's drop these two down simultaneously and see what they do. All right, we're in five feet. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, now we're in 10 feet right here. Let's try it. Now we're at 20 feet. Let's drop them. We've kind of come to a conclusion that the 20 pound actually does fall a lot slower than the 10 pound. You could see it even in the five foot range. And uh, you know, right behind us here, this is where we tested them. It's just got a nice, easy break, um, you know, fairly clear water. And so we couldn't see it all the way down to 20 feet, but you guys got the gist for the most part. So we were only testing these by dropping them right next to the boat. It's gonna be different when you're making a long cast as well as, you know, we are only testing jigs today, but this applies to all bottom baits, you know, ones that your lend fall to the bottom. So this was basically only testing the line. And so this is something to keep in mind with all baits that you're fishing on the bottom.